Welcome everybody to Around the World in 45 Minutes. Hi, Mary. Hi. Hi, Darren. So I'm Darren Malte. I'm out of Black Gold. It's just by Edmonton, Alberta. And Mary, I don't know where you are. You're in, you said you're in Ontario. I am. I'm in Brighton, Ontario. So I'm just outside the GTA, outside of Toronto. Yeah. Fantastic. And we have two Googlers joining us together today. Hi. Welcome. Tara. Hi. Hi. I'm Tara. I work at Google in Waterloo. Um, I'm an executive business partner here and I work on our Google Aboriginal and Indigenous Network. Fantastic. And hi, I'm Asta. I work out of Google Toronto. I'm based out of Toronto office and I work on Google search advertising. So all the fun search ads which you see on your laptop when you search, so I work on that. Fantastic. Well, we are going to explore the world. We're going to show you just the most amazing things you can do with maps, with Earth. I just, I love doing this stuff. I do this a lot with, uh, you know, all kinds of different classes all the time. Okay. There's my screen. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Darren. Tara. That's the... I'd like to acknowledge that uh, my school board is in Treaty 6, and this land is the traditional territory of the Cree, the Salto, Blackfoot, Dene, Nakota Sioux, and Métis, and we'd like to acknowledge them as traditional knowledge holders and the elders who are stewards of the land. Really, really important in Alberta right now, um, especially in our southern Rockies where there's stuff going on with mining. We were really thankful for the stewardship of certain people in that area. So we are going to look at all kinds of maps and we want you to participate. This is how you participate because you don't have the slide deck. You are going to type this into your browser in a new tab the cc.page forward slash steam 6c might seem like a, a lot of words but you can do it and then when you get in there put your name give us a place what is an amazing place you've visited whether that's in canada or around the world let us know just where have you visited that you think everyone should go here this is awesome maybe it's not during covid probably not <laughs> probably maybe like hey, last year or the year before let us know Whoa, and they're already coming in, Darren. They're already oh, yeah. coming in. Yeah, we've got Unuk who's asked for a shout out. A shout out for Mr. Carney's class. There's people that have been to Hawaii. Germany is the most amazing <laughs> thing. Darren, the, the goat is here again. You got the goat. <laughs> it, it's all happening. A shout out in Africa is another place. Portugal is coming in from Tony. Francesca has, uh, has said about Italy. Yeah, but said, uh, Ethiopia, which would be very cool. Nicholas down in the Bahamas. Oh my gosh. Um, another shout out here for Ms. Oh, 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 I can't see the rest of it. Oh, no. In Banff, Alberta. I'm sorry. So, Ms. Yeah, class, you're there, but Great. I haven't got y'all. I'm coming. I'm coming there in July. That's fantastic. I think they just wanted me to play Hear the drums that go like little Africa. Do, 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 do. That's that fantastic. That How many responses do we have already? Oh, my gosh. Hundreds. Oh, hundreds already. We're already yes. starting in here. So, we've got, yeah, go ahead, Tara. Oh, I thought you were seeing some there too. She didn't. That's okay. So, um, hey, Lennon. in Pakistan, where they were born, a place that they were born is over in Pakistan. So that's very cool as well. Edinburgh Castle. <gasps> Could we see castles today at all, Darren? Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Could we? Could oh, we? Tunis. Oh, Tunisia is so amazing. Tunis used to be a Roman protector, and they have like uh, there's a gladiator stadium by Tunisia and Roman ruins. It is a fascinating place. There's so many cool places in the world. Oh, that's neat. Uh -huh. I was on a Disney cruise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this, this is all it's going to be for an hour, just us looking at a form that you respond. No, I'm just kidding. We are going to look at maps and the amazing things you can do with maps. So keep going with that form. The CC page, um, Steam 6C. And here I'll pop. Here, Tara, I'll drop this in for you so you can. That's the spreadsheet where all these comments are going to be. And let's get mapping. Are we ready to map? Y'all ready to map? Okay. I would like you now to go to a new tab and just use the Google machine, search for maps. Maps. Google Maps. Now, the first thing is just moving around on the map. I like to use, you know, if you do use the mouse, click, drag. That's a, one great way to do it. I always use two hands, click and drag. You can also use your arrow keys. If that ever doesn't work, anything mappy, Google Earth, Google Maps, Street View, if it's ever not functioning with your keyboard, you might have to just click and drag a little bit. 
and then most maps will work. Oh, my burrito's ready. Um, so that's side to side, up and down. Then there's zooming. And zooming, one of the best ways is to use your little snake bite. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sound effects always help make it a little bit easier. Um, you also see there is, of course, your little zoom on the sides and up and down going over there. So let's just get used to that, moving side to side, up and down, zooming in, zooming out. Ask the, what do you think is your favorite place you've ever visited? Is there a favorite? I think my favorite is Google Mountain View Campus. I just oh. love Mountain View. It's in okay. California, United States. Lovely yes. weather, so green. Um, I'm actually a little bit sad because all of my friends got to go and I was busy that, that weekend. I couldn't go to Mountain View and they did the tour. They went all through Mountain View. Oh, super. Tara, you have a favorite spot in the world that you're... Uh... Well, I saw a comment that Tamana wanted to shout out. So shout out to Tamana. And uh, a favorite spot. I'm really lucky that I work at Google. I'm so grateful to work here and we get to travel all over the world. Um, I think the favorite Google office that I've been to is in Zurich uh, because there's beautiful mountains and there's nice cafes and it, it's who doesn't want to work looking at a mountain, a snow capped mountain. Sounds uh, amazing. So. <laughs> Plus at a party, if someone's like, oh, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, the time I was in Zurich, you sound the fanciest. Like, you, you do sound fancy, but you know, there's no place like home, uh, wherever home is. Well, it's always maybe, nice to come home. And that's that's a good segue. Not quite for yet, but now what I want you to do now that you're an expert, I want you to zoom out as far as you can go. And if you don't have the globe turned on, this is a problem. No flat earthers here. We are going to the globe view. So if you don't see a globe view, that's over here on the right hand side, enable that globe view and then boom, you get the globe. So say that one more time. If you see a flat earth, that is problematic for so many reasons, but you want to hit the globe and then you can use your arrow keys. I like to spin it. Maybe it'll work. Yeah. Then you can spin the globe, your arrow keys or just drag. It's unbelievable that we can do this. I don't want to be the back when, back when I was a kid, but back in my day, we had globes and we had books, but like to be able to go anywhere in the, in the world, Google has done just an incredible, incredible job with this so this is the globe view let us know in the in the uh the form yes globe view i got my globe no flat earthers hopefully we get 342 of those and we're going to keep going all the way out and i want to show you the first place we're going to go is actually not on earth we're actually going to go to space that's going to be our first trip so if you could down at the bottom this is satellite view we have got the globe view. Click on satellite. Give it a sec to go to space, literally. And then go out even farther. And then look what happens. Hopefully something. <laughs> and if you go all the way out, there we go. You can actually visit the planets. So you can go to Mercury, Venus, Earth. I'm going to ask you to go to the International Space Station. That's our first spot on our journey. And here we are in the ISS. Just want you to get used to looking around. So students, your first job, it might seem silly. It might seem like I'm a 12 year old and I kind of am immature. Can you find the bathroom on the ISS? This is gonna be the first thing you wanna know. Where are you gonna go? And you're gonna go to the bathroom. Where is the washroom on the International Space Station? It's not very hard to find from here. There's a little hint. So I'll show you one more time how I did all that. I was in the globe view. And I clicked on the satellite and all the way out. And it takes a second and the ISS, International Space Station. Walk around. That's amazing. You know what, it, it, when you think about the fact that the space station isn't that big, right? It has to be close by, but look at all that stuff that they have crammed into there to actually make their, you know, they have to have everything, right? Yeah. 
And it's the funny crazy. thing too is there's no up and down. You'll see a computer on the, like there's this one, there's a computer on the wall. You might be <laughs> sideways that way. There's like, a camera pointing that way. So there is really no up and down. That's and, amazing. And we've and got some more shout outs too that, that we can throw in here while they're looking for the washroom. So Daniela, um, I wanted to shout out to Miss uh, Madame or Mrs. Uh, Johnson's class in Mississauga. And uh, it's Noah's birthday today. So happy birthday, Noah. And Madame Zuli's class as well wanted to shout out. So that was very cool too. I don't know maybe whether Tara and Ash, Ash, um, Ash, Ashba, do you have any as well there? Got the globe. I saw that Mr. Moore was looking for a shout out. Um, and then I saw that Kinley's moving to the Netherlands soon. So that's pretty <gasps> exciting. Oh, I have a friend there. Well, then maybe they'll know each other. <laughs> <laughs> I used to live there. That's cool, too. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. So if you're uh, not, if you ever don't see, you don't see that globe, you just got to make sure you have enabled the globe view. That's one thing that's pretty awesome. <laughs> awesome. Sophia's in there. There we go. Nice. All right. Let's, let's get back to earth. That's what my teachers always used to say to me anyway. Darren, <laughs> back to earth. So... So I'm sure you've heard of Pegman, which is the little yellowish kind of person. It's actually, I know a lot of times you see students, they drag Pegman and dangle and let go. That's not the most accurate way to do this. That is not how you really want to do your street view. What you want to do is click Pegman one time, boop, and it'll show you every instance of street view in the entire world. And what I find amazing about this is there are countries like in Russia, two years ago, there was zero street view, not a single thing of street view. And now it's all over the place. And so Tara, I know a lot of these things are the cars, right? Like the car drives down the street, the Google car. But I think Google has a lot of unique ways to get this street view, right? Like there's not just the car. Tell, can you tell us a little bit about some of the other things that can get street view? Yeah, of course. So we've actually, uh, in the north, we've put uh, what we call the trekker, which is a, a very heavy backpack. It's about 50 pounds, 55 pounds, uh, full of uh, the same camera equipment that you see on the street view car into a backpack. We've put it on a dog sled. We've put it on ah. snowmobiles. You've got images there. Uh, it's it's on a dog sled. Um, we've, we've put it uh, all over the world. And so every time you see a street view image, it's actually been in that location somehow. And so mm -hmm. where there can't be cars, there's dog sleds or snowmobiles, or uh, sometimes just people walking with it in a backpack. Yeah, that's how all of the Caliwit was done, right? E exactly, exactly. Yeah. Do you know where there is a snowmobile? Is there one, can you think of one uh, 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 Well, you're searching around, I'll see if I can find that image of that snowmobile. That would be cool, that's one I've seen. And I know Google has done every single national park in Canada. So no Absolutely. matter, every single one, you can go to, uh, here's one in Alberta, way up north, the Wood Buffalo National Park. And, and this one was done. Sometimes it's people just walking on those trails with that very heavy backpack. Wow. This one was done on a quad, I know. I've seen the shadow of this one before. So just a quad driving down, they got the backpack. Oh my goodness. Now and we the thing up frequently update those as well, Darren. So those yeah. as streets evolves or new subdivisions are built where you live, we're sending those uh, out. So sometimes um, you might see a picture of your house, but then you might see a picture of your house and it looks a little different uh, because those, those cars are driving around taking updated pictures. Absolutely. And the thing that's interesting about, about Street View that I find just fascinating too is if you see a dot, that means just a regular person has taken that Street View. Like in fact, not to brag, but you know, I'm just going to show you one. Uh, just the fact that anybody can do it. So we're going to go by my house and there's a park right by my house right here. If I keep going, here's my one of my contributions. I found some Aurora Borealis in the park by my house and I uploaded it to Street View with the Street View app. And uh, yeah, there's one of my contributions to Street View. So anybody, my friends, can add Street View. If you have the Street View app, you too can add Street View. You're like, hey, this is an amazing place. Guess what you can do? Add it to Google Maps. What? <laughs> so Darren, there's a question uh, from Kelly. She's saying, is Google with Samsung? 
That's well, the question. Well, Sam Samsung is a, a brand. Of, mm -hmm. They manufacture phones and devices, and they use Android, which is the Google platform operating system, right? So, so she should be able to get it no problem then on her on her Samsung phone. Absolutely. And even on, on iOS devices, you get the Google Earth map and all that sort of stuff. Um, I do want, can I show a couple of these? Uh, and I don't know if you asked the, or Tara, if you know some of these or more than I know, but I know that if you go to certain places like Buckingham Palace, Eggman, there's an actual little Easter egg here. Pegman becomes the queen. <laughs> so that's, yeah, I love that one. Um, that's pretty sweet. If you go to Loch Ness, you go to the Loch Ness, my friends, and there you're going to see, if you zoom in a little bit, guess what? Pegman becomes Nessie. Oh, my word. That is very cool. <laughs> wow. I did not know about that. That is if you go to, let's go to, let's go a couple more. I got two more for you. Florida, it becomes nothing at all. Hey, come on. <laughs> I, might, I might have to go to Hawaii. Nothing? Okay, I'll go to Hawaii instead. And maybe people could put into the chat, into the, the forum, and, uh, uh, and we'll let you say that one more time again as well, Darren, for that. But if they uh, go on the forum, if you can find some other places that has little pegman change into something, throw them in there. We'd love to hear about yeah. it. Can I, here's going to be, this is going to be the student's favorite one, I think. It's actually disappointing at a street view, but this is pretty cool. Area 51. Pegman becomes. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. That's yeah. great. There's no street view because it's Area 51. But that yeah. is good. Um, and so if we if we just share one more time, just in case we had some people join us a little bit later. Absolutely. Can you just put that slide up for just a second? There, there we, we are. Now, I've got some of my favorite street view. Um, and as that you've been to Mountain View, can you could you show us some street view of of Mountain View, the Google headquarters there. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And usually when I'm when I'm working with students, you know the place, people you can put it in, in the forum if you think you can guess. Guess which place pretty much every student wants to go right away. We do maps, guess what they check out? It's not the Eiffel Tower. Mary, any guesses where people, where students want to go? Want to go, man. Uh, where does every person want to go or see? I don't know. I have so many, so many places that I've wanted to go. I'm sorry so, for putting you on the spot. No, 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 no. That's okay. What do, you, what do you think, Tara? I've done this probably with 200 classes. And guess where 99% of the kids want to go right away when you show them Street View and they get a map. In front of them. I was going to oh, say the Great Wall of China. Oh, that's pretty good because there's no street view in China. There's only those little dots. They don't right. have the Google Yeah, stuff. yeah, it's China. Okay, I think I got you. I think I know it. It's you go and find your own house. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Okay. About ninety-eight percent of the time, students okay. will find that. Sometimes they'll go underwater and do things. So. Yeah, that's All cool. Right. Yeah. Can, so, I, can I say from the sheet that there's a happy birthday to Ms. Joel? Hey, Mr. Hirsch, and a oh. shout out to Mr. Halen's grade four, five, six class in Scarborough. Whose birthday was it? Sorry. Whose birthday? Uh, Mitchell. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mitchell. Happy I know why. birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mitchell. Oh, actually, you're having some trouble sharing street. That's no problem. Yeah. So, I've got some good street view that I can show too, or if anyone else wants to. But the one thing that's really cool is street view, and you might have this at your house. I'll just go to uh, this is my hometown, Beaumont. I just want to show you. Here's my street view. Hopefully you're finding your house. Oh, I'm a little far. Let me get back out here. So I, I often don't drive around looking for the place. If I went to the wrong spot, I'll go back out and jump back in. But are you ready, my friends? I want you to time travel. Don't say I never took you anywhere. I took you to space. <laughs> I took you to my hometown, which isn't too exciting. But the next thing I'm going to show you is time travel. So what Tara was talking about, where they update all the time, up in the corner, if you see a little clock, that means there is multiple street view of that location. And that means you, my friend, can travel back in time. Time traveler. You don't even need the suit. You don't need the dock or the DeLorean. Marty, we got to get back. You just have to go up here to the corner, 
and click on this and you can go back all the way to 2009. I bet a lot of you weren't even born then. You can go <laughs> back to before you were born. This, I know, I feel old when I say this, Mary, but yeah. you can go back to 2009 and look at this. Boop, click here. And now I'm back. That's amazing. So Darren, there's a really neat question here. And actually, I mean, maybe it might be Tara or, or uh, Asher that know this one. Um, can you find out when the Google Street View car is coming to a place? So Celine was asking that. She wants to know. As far as I, I know, they don't have, they don't publish their routes. Otherwise, then you get hecklers and people doing weird things, and they just really don't want that, uh, so they don't publish their routes. Yeah, okay. what you what you can see is where they're. I can't find the page, but there is a page that says where they're going next in broad terms. So, like, we're going to be in this community, and it'll say like, we're going to be in Edmonton, we're going to be in Scarborough, we're going to be in this place. So you can get the community, but and it doesn't tell you the exact dates, but you can say where it's gonna it's gonna go in broad terms. Okay, so another, uh, just John had a question actually, I think for you, or for for everybody here. Uh, if you were to live anywhere in the world, but can't leave that place and it has to be somewhere you haven't been, where would you go? Oh my. Yeah, big question. I really want to go to Australia. So that's where I would go on Google Maps if I could. It would just be, I'd go down and, and go and visit and see what was going on down there. I've My brother lived down there for a while and I went and visited him, but I'd love to, love to go back. I'm a big fan of San Francisco, but I don't know. Yeah. What about you, Asta, Tara? I, you got some, I would uh, love to go to Paris. I'll probably. Yes. Beautiful and we'll go there. I'm not visited. I'd like to be on an island in the Caribbean, so I think I'd go to Guadeloupe. Oh, cool. Um, one thing I did want to show is that there is some amazing street view, and it's not even all on land. Like, you can actually go off the Great Barrier Reef, and there is street view where you can swim. This underwater earth is done, so you can go visit Coral Reef, and you can even walk, swim. That's amazing. Yeah. That is so cool. Um, should I show you the freakiest? Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. The freakiest freak view I think that exists. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know they want it. This I think is the scariest, the catacombs of Paris. So speaking of Paris, I thought you were mentioning Paris. This could be the freakiest. Oh, nope, that is not the freakiest. A lineup. You've never seen the lineup during COVID, have you? Okay, here we go. Try to get in the and while you're getting that, Darren, I have to do a shout out to, uh, um, oh, where is it here? Sorry, Mrs. Silver's class. She said, we'd love a shout out. We're watching the whole time together as a 20 person class. So they're all together right now doing this. And they're even missing French to do this. So there you go. So Mrs. Silver's class. I was going to do a shout out to Miss Daly Cedar Hollow grade threes because they said please with big capital letters. <laughs> Ooh, this is scary. So Tara, do you have some locations like with your work that we could see in Canada or with any of the uh, indigenous communities in Canada that you've done some work with? Um, so what I was going to say is what I like, what I do a, a lot of work with Google Earth Outreach. And what we actually do is is work with Google Story Builder. And what I like to, to tell people is that this is a and talk to your grandparents. You could talk to your family and find out where they are and actually build a, a, a story. Where did my grandparents come from? Where did my parents come from? You know, and, and, and tag, geotag those places and actually build a story. You can actually embed video. You can embed um, uh, um, audio uh, uh, and build a story on your own little map and 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 make like a little uh, map of just your family. It's a great uh, Google has great uh, um, tools for 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 doing that with Google Story Builder. Um, it's really easy uh, to use and and you geotag all those little lo locations if you ever want to do it if it loads for you. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. And I've, I've done a lot of the projects with Google Earth, and we'll talk about that. I think we'll have time even. We have sure. Time. Uh, so. But in Street View, it's a really great place to go talk to your family and locations. I know Atha was saying about um, the, the Google Mountain View campus, uh, which is at 1600 Amphitheater Drive. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah. 
Um, and I think that that's a really uh, fantastic uh, location if you zoom out. Oh, I got the gym um, there. It's just a scale. It's a Google campus in um, uh, Mountain View is, I don't even know how many buildings are there, Aspa. Like, yeah, like a hundred, I feel, yeah. Yeah, I think there's about a hundred buildings. Um, that is the Googleplex itself. There's just probably a hundred buildings. Um, and then they give you bikes to ride in between all these buildings. So this this entire thing is like the city. Um, uh, this is all Google buildings. Um, they're building more, obviously. This whole thing is the Google yeah. Plex um, all around there. Uh, you can see the Charleston campus there on your map is also Google buildings. So that's all uh, Google buildings. There's soccer fields, there's, um, I don't know what you want to add yeah. there, Asta. Yeah, uh, like I was just pool, yeah. All playgrounds, yes. And I feel it's just so fun to bike around from one building to another building. There are Google bikes, like cute yellow bikes all around the place. Where you, go. <laughs> you just pick up a bike and you go, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, I went to the it gym. It take you a long time to walk from one building to another. Uh, yeah. so, and they even have bikes where you have meetings on a bike. So four or five or six people get on a bike and you all face inwards and you have a meeting on a bike. What? Yeah. Yeah. Love it. If that you so cool. did, looked up a Google, I don't know what they're called, ask the meeting bike. Yeah, I even mean, I don't know. I'm not sure what they are called. It's like Google meeting bike. bike. Oh, wait. It's hard to type when people are watching. Oh, my there gosh. Go. Oh, yeah. The so there's those. the third picture. The second picture, there are people having a meeting on a bike. And they ride between buildings. That's, I love it. That's I, I phenomenal. Yeah. I need that. Okay, awesome. I hope people, did you find your house? Did you travel in time? That's one of the coolest things. If you can look, unfortunately, some people, their house maybe hasn't been done or it's only been done one time, but being able to travel back. Uh, and it's the ones that, any of the ones that Google has done, if you see, they'll be able to do the travel back in time. That's neat. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take a. Oh, go for it. Sorry, Darren. Just um, um, we've got a question here again too. Just and it's kind of interesting. So, do uh, um, if you can, does Google Maps show really deep underwater? Will it do that at all? Do you know? Or how would they do that? Do you know? The only ones I've seen are are places where there's a lot of light, right? Because they need to take the pictures. So. If you can find the deepest one, like definitely not in the Marianas Trench or anything. I've only seen some that are just on the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. Okay. And I've been watching. I've been watching to see if anyone has put up on there some place that they've been able to get the little uh, little peg guy to turn into something else. And I haven't seen anything yet. I'm watching for it. I want to show just this one thing. This is not part of Maps or Google Earth. But this Google Earth engine is absolutely amazing because it shows you how things have grown over time since 1984 with satellite. So you could go to a glacier, like I could go to the Columbia Glacier, and you could see how that glacier has changed over time. You can go to your community and see how it's grown. So here's the glacier here, and you can see for, over time how that glacier has, has melted. Or you can see a community that's being grown. You can see deforestation, or you can see farmlands changing. It's, it's really quite a fascinating thing, this Google Earth time lapse. A lot of conversations you could have with that. That's wild. Somebody here was saying that Anna was saying she found her house in 2007. <laughs> so somebody went back for you, Darren. And she has her daughter coming home from hockey with a hockey bag on her shoulder in the picture. Oh, that's, that's so great. And I've, I've been working with classes and a, and a kid will go, oh, there's me and my grandpa. And it is. They're outside their house. And they're. It's super, and I, then I show them how to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, which, you know, control and uh, switch your key. All right. So that's fantastic. We've got our, our 2D, our street view, we've walked around. But one other crazy thing that you can do is you can fly. And so Google has actually gone around to all these different places. I'm gonna go to Banff because I'm going there in a few weeks. So if you're ever coming to Alberta, it's a great place to visit. So here's just our regular 2D satellite. But you see this 3D button? You can actually click that and then you hold down 
the control key and drag with your mouse and you can actually get this 3D model. And not only can you move around, but then you can use your arrow keys. If you just drag a little bit, you can fly around these locations. You don't even have to be on the airplane. That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> So Tara, I have a question about Google Expeditions because I know Google Expeditions is going away as an app, but a lot of that stuff's going to Google Arts and Culture, right? Is where we're going to find that that stuff. Yeah, a little bit. The Google Expeditions is is specifically for education, um, and then there's thousands of places you can go, and it's a virtual reality thing um, for use with Google Cardboard, where the teacher can actually direct the the, the class. Um, and uh, I know that they do have the Great Barrier Reef on there. So that's why I was thinking oh, cool. we could go pretty deep on that one. Yeah. And Tara, yeah. you don't always have to use the uh, Google Cardboards either, right? If you that's, don't have one. That's yep, correct. Can, yeah. It's not. It's obviously not, not as 3D, obviously, but it's still, people can still see as well, which is, is good too. 100%. Yeah. Um, do you know uh, where you might find the Mars rover in Google Maps? Ethan's asking where you might find the Mars rover in Google Maps. Oh, nice. Well, you would have to go all the way out and then find where on Mars it is. Because they do have some of those things labeled, right? If you go back way out to space. And you can't have anything searched if you want to go out to space. So out, 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 out. And then you could go to Mars. <laughs> and then I'm not sure how much of Mars is mapped. But they do have, I know on the moon they have craters marked. But maybe not on Mars. Wow. So I don't know. You might have to find. But at least he can look for it now. Anyway, that's great. That's super. <laughs> yeah, you won't you won't find live pictures. It'll be a different satellite that took these images, right? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. somebody found a flying bunny on Google Maps. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's some of the most fun stuff. Is you can find those cool Easter eggs. Yeah, I saw the flying bunny. I saw that one. That was pretty great. I can't remember <laughs> right. what it was, but. And Safwan, uh, Safwan uh, was saying that he saw Pegman turn into a human. And so over in Hawaii, they got a mermaid as well. Got the mermaid. Yeah. I have to do the hop. shout out to Mr. Hornablow's class because they're in Waterloo Region and that's where I am. So, yes. There you go. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. hopefully, you found some cool street view, walked around, found your house, time travel. Mm -hmm. This flying thing, I just think is fascinating. You're going to go to the Eiffel Tower. You want to go to Paris when travel's available again? Like, this is just a cool way to explore. That's or if you anything you see something in your textbook, you know, and it's a location, you can explore it and see if they have the three D. So, uh, Tara, I'm not sure. Do you know how the they make these all this rendering of these three D maps? That is a technical question that I do not have the answer to. Okay. I, I watched a video, and so like. I think it's a plane and they have like these six cameras on it and it just flies over and then they somehow render it and they take out all the dogs, the people, the smoke, and they just kind of make, they build these 3D models. So, I mean, I can't even believe you could do this. That's if you're old like me, if you're old like me, you know that computer graphics, like I can't believe I'm looking at a 3D model of Paris. It's just incredible. And I like to, to bike. And so when I went to Banff, I was like, oh, I'd love to do a, a little bike you know, around the mountains. And so I looked at, where's my little ride? This right here. I was like, okay, well, this looks like a cool bike ride. And then, so I, I rode my bike down this way. And then this, I was looking at this in Google Maps. I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks like, this is climbing the side of a mountain. So having seen this on Google Maps, I said, I'm going to take a taxi from <laughs> the bottom to the top. And I did. And then I rode back through here. And I, I did that. I flew I was checking out, see the bike path down there. I flew where I was going. And then it ended up at the Banff Springs Hotel. That's That works out perfectly. That's amazing. Um, do you, I don't know whether this was answered earlier or not. Sophie was asking, how often is Google Maps updated? It really just depends on how frequently an area is updated and how popular an area is. Some place like San Francisco, where Google is, is probably updated more often than Iqaluit. 
So it really just kind of depends on the infrastructure, uh, how, how, how rapidly the area is growing and how easily yeah. it is to get equipment there. So I think there's a bunch of factors. Yeah. And right. I just wanted to add, like, even us, like as users, we can also update the maps. Like we can check the facts. Like I can go to the maps. If I see a building name is incorrect, I can actually tell Google that, hey, just correct the building name and it gets updated. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. We had to do that for one of our schools. Sorry, I was going to say, if you recognize anything wrong on maps, you can always let Google know as well. And um, certainly just let the Street View team know if you see something wrong or something's labeled wrong, or um, I've worked with the maps team to let them know that a highway is labeled wrong or it's no longer a highway. Uh, just certainly if you find those errors, just let them know. That's great. Aspa, what's the first place you're gonna visit again after COVID, where are you gonna travel? Um, I think I'm going to travel. So one of the places which I wanted to travel was actually Banff because I'm, I'm new to Canada. So I definitely <laughs> want to go to Banff. Now you can bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you should email me. I know all the greatest hikes around Banff and oh, Jasper. Definitely. You yes. could just take one of your Google bikes and I'm sure Darren would go along with you because it would just be so cool to do that. And in fact, the first, so this is Banff right here. And the first week of July, I'm going to camp. My campsite is right by this lake right here. And uh, I'm hoping to go this is Lake Minnewanka. And I'm hoping to take a little bike tour down here and to bike into town and go around this mountain. So yeah, this is Banff right here. It's just super great spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've explored a whole bunch, I know it's great to explore and I know students love to explore, but how you want to share that and make it as some kind of, you know, project for, for school is with Google Earth. Google, I think I can type Google Earth. Because you can make this brand new thing called projects in Google Earth. So if you ever use my maps before, that's sort of like a 2D version of this. So if you want to play along, you can go to Google Earth. Now, just be aware that if all, you know, there's 9,000 people and we're all going on Google Earth, it might not load right away. You might get some lag. And for me, it might crash. This might crash the system. We'll see. So you might get this. We might just be waiting here. We could do some more shout outs, obviously, as well, too. I, I've got some here that they've like big capital letters. It's like, please give it. So uh, Ms. Uh, Girlio's grade five class from Ava. She said, please give us a big shout out. So they're there. You're all happy. Fantastic. Hey, it loaded. Nice. Um, when you get to Earth, one of my favorite things, I don't know if you've seen this, is I'm feeling lucky. And you just click that, and it will take you somewhere cool. Monte Naranco. It just flies you in. I just love doing this. I do this with classes, and they just, you know, they all just click. And I'm in Spain. I'm in Portugal. I'm in Iceland. I'm in Greenland. I just love hearing that in a class. Well, we've had people been asking, they said, can you go to Japan, right? I'm from Japan. Can you go to Hawaii? Oh. Can you go to, you know, so there's been a lot of that. The Bermuda Triangle. Can you take us to the Bermuda Triangle? There won't be much of the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, Japan, the Imperial Palace is full 3D rendered and you can fly around and there's great street view. It's pretty awesome. If, if there was any place in Japan, I'd go at the Imperial Palace is amazing. Yeah. Nice. But I'm feeling lucky is really great. Just flying around, just exploring the world. And now there are Voyager tours. So the little ship's wheel is a Voyager tour. And there's all kinds. There's some for culture. There's some for, you know, anything you want to study. You should go and search. Oh, there, there's who's it, Tokyo. Ooh. Darren, I just saw yeah. a question on someone asking how to contact if they saw an error. And it's really easy. You oh, cool. The, the image or the, the street, and you just tap more and hit report a problem. Is that it? like I could do it right now on the bottom? Yeah. So if you tap more, and then there should be something that says report a problem, you select the issue and you tap submit. Okay. Do I have to be in Street View or under the. Uh, no, see, it says report a data problem. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. And so you just ah. list what the problem is, like whether it's, you know, you want to fix something, you add a miss or add a missing place, and then you just submit. Gotcha. That's great. And then they review it, um, and that's it. 
I love wouldn't it. it be, wouldn't it be interesting too, like Tara, when you're saying about all of this, like in the updates and everything, we had uh, Kaltrina asked, do you think that you could ever see tsunami waves? And I guess, you know, if something happened to be being captured at that moment, you could, right? Yeah, I, I think that it's not like it, by the time it's reviewed before it becomes live, like it's not real time. Like as the camera is taking the pictures, they're not uploaded instantaneously. So there is a lag there, right? So yeah. theoretically, yes, the car would see them, but they're not uploaded instantaneously onto Google Maps. Yeah. Okay. And, and sometimes the, the street view that's just the one picture that someone has uploaded are those events and, and interesting things. Right. right. So teachers, if you want to explore the Voyager tours, there are a lot. You can even search if you were doing, I don't know, like World War II. Or I'm not sure if Tara asked, but if you know of some Voyager tours that are applicable to, oh, La Citadelle de Quebec. Uh -huh. so, so some of these are things you could, let's check out. Discover Alsace, region in France. Sounds good. Hey, and can you search in caves? Maya's asking that. I wonder. Maya, let us know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the cool thing about these tours is that you can fly around, you can add information, and students, you can make these projects. Teachers can make these projects. If you're studying throughout the year and you're studying something about anything, you can add these locations to a project. So if you find some cool things, you don't just have to like, yeah, I saw this neat thing. I saw a flying bunny. You can actually make a new project called Interesting Google Earth. And these include some of those locations. Like if Terra has all these awesome locations that are geotagged, this could be a project too that we go through and add these new features. And you can search. And you can search for different places around the globe, like our Banff. And it get, you get this knowledge panel right from Google where you can add it to a project and save, which I think is just fascinating. And then what I really love too, Mary, is if you drop Pegman down and you see some cool downtown Banff locations, I go, Asta, this is the place you want to eat right here. So I'm going to capture this just for Asta because I'm making my Banff tour for Asta. Capture, <laughs> oh, thank you. Capture this and save best place to eat. Ah. And what is it? What place? Um, it's actually not this place, but the Park, <laughs> Distil Park Distillery is a really great place in Banff. <laughs> no worries. So we have and a canoogler with us too, Darren. I just thought, you know, I had to mention that William, he said he's a canoogler. So he wanted to have a shout out for that. I thought that was really cool. From Pickering, near Pickering in Mrs. Chan's class. So that's neat. I, he maybe was at the opening, uh, the opening um, uh, session this morning when they were talking about canooglers and nooglers and oh wow, tooglers, all those people. So one thing that's really cool about these tours too, if you have a YouTube video or a picture, you can you can actually add a gallery. Like if I went to Banff and I wanted to say, hey, there's there's bears there. Actually, I couldn't do my hike that I wanted to because there were grizzlies, so I had to cancel last time my little hike around the lake so ask that be aware there are grizzlies in certain areas um <laughs> but you can add multiple images so you, as as students you can go through and have here here's my tour or my learning you can go and show all these awesome places tara i think we should make an awesome tour for our students about amazing indigenous places around canada i need i need some of these for uh, for my grade grade fives actually all the students absolutely i'll send them to you yeah that's cool and send them my way too. They're, that's wonderful. Oh, and Bobby found the Mars rover. No. Yes, somebody found it. That's cool. Really? Yep. One of the coolest things about these tours in Google Earth, these projects, is also that you can share them right into Google Classroom. So if your students make an amazing tour about any concept, they can get this link and put it right in Google Classroom where you can see the tour that your student has created. So it could be, instead of my summer vacation, you could do a Google tour. Or if you're doing something, you see a location in a textbook, you can make it really come alive. And I know in Alberta, we have some amazing street view of some places, like not the Sano itself, but I'm gonna look at street view. Here we go, Little River. Come on, I got how many seconds? A few seconds. So here's a good example. 
here is a medicine wheel that's been in use for over 3,000 years in Alberta as a sacred place. And you can actually visit there. We do our sacred places tour of, of Alberta. So it's one really fun thing. Oh my gosh, 45 minutes goes by really fast. I didn't even watch. I should be watching. Oh my word, yes, you're right. Can we do this again, please, Tara? Can we work together? Ask that. Let's do some fun Google yeah. stuff. 100%. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's 45. Any last words for the students? Any last I was going to say a big shout out to Mrs. Butson's grade five class in Kitchener Waterloo because, you know, I got to say hi to the KW oh. peeps. You do. You have to do it. You have yeah. to. Oh, and there's just so many shout outs yeah, that we could be doing as well. I don't see any more questions just at the end as well. Oh, has a, there's, this is a this is a kind of neat way to end it. No, um, um, Anaya has said, has anyone found missing people with Google Earth? That's interesting, yeah. eh? Yeah, if you're trying to find someone, wow, that's that's amazing. Okay. Fantastic. Well, Tara and Aspa, it was super great to meet you. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you very much for hosting. This was like the best meeting I've ever had. So <laughs> yeah, thank you so great. much. And you go, go job. I'm genuinely interested in some of those locations for sure. If you can share some with me, we can make some sort of project for our students and share the Absolutely. amazing places in, in Canada. Absolutely. We We've got some great ones from the Amazon that we did with <gasps> the Amazonian tribes and I'll, I'll get it all to you, Darren. Fantastic. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. So great. All right. And we are done.